All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some teamer mid-range. Uh, we have a donation deck. Oh, let me do this little part right here. As you can see up here, that's what the DD stands for. So we got a donation deck here uh, with teamer mid-range. So let's see what we got going on here. So we are um, kind of... All right, so we're we are uh, basically wanting to ramp a lot. So we have our three land we're all fan of four Paradise Druid. Uh, where we're you know trying to ramp and the three cures also get to untap lands you know any permanent so we're trying to get a bunch of mana and then get to our big things here we got a lot of big things with Nullhide, chandra sarkin skargan hellkite niv mizzet and hydroid crisis so kind of dragon heavy with these things um sarkin's a card that i've been really really impressed with with the new set um I'm a little worried with with Nullhide with all of these spells. Uh, we got 13 spells in here to go with the Nullhide, but we'll see how that works out. And we'll kind of see how Niv-Mizzet works with all the green mana. You know, we got a lot of green mana, but uh, Paradise Druid can help cast it. Same with Kiora, can help cast those. Um, Return to Nature is not necessarily a card you see too much in the main deck, but we'll see if we get to do anything with it. Uh, it's, you know, definitely going to be good against Nexus. Um... But that's what we've got over here. Um, Chandra's Triumph is going to be an interesting one to try out. I haven't played this card yet. Uh, we'll see you know, how this compares to Lava Coil, for example. It doesn't go upstairs like Lightning Strike could, can. Uh, but if we do have one of our two Chandras in play, then it's dealing five damage uh, to creatures. That could be a ton of damage. Hey, Sisang. Welcome. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the games. And let's see how Teamer Midrange does. We'll go to the traditional constructed queue. Second sub of the day. Love it, everybody getting those hype boats in. And thanks, he's saying enjoy all the awesome emotes. Yeah, they can keep this. You know, we get get some early protection here with the Chandra's Triumphs. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some. Meta, I'm gonna do meta game challenge with these two decks later. Uh, we're gonna do the two donation decks first, and then we'll do meta game challenge with those. Um, so if we just draw one land, then Kiora can help cast like Null Hide, for example. Man, I'm sorry, Kanthic. Magic's tough. It really is. I hope you don't mind if I take my octopus for a walk. Really hoping this is not Nexus, but Null Height is at least a fast clock for us. Let's get moving. All right, Kiora did. Ooh, it is not. Ugh. Well. All right, so let's go in and attack. No. All right, so now with Null Hide off the battlefield, we get to cast Chandra. Hey. Over here! This is just gonna be bad for you. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Um. I have learned much from my ancestors. Okay, Chandra's Charm is gonna be able to deal the damage over here. This is a yeah, this was a donation deck that we had here. So like Reasons on like why some cards are being played. I don't like over others. Burn. I don't have a a great answer for. But we are trying out different cards. All right, so let's kill Tamio. Play Paradise Druid and the Land War. Let's light it up. It's it's always good to like play different. Um, 
different cards and you know like learn you know you get to see like new interactions and, and learn things and everything all right so we'll be able to play niv mizzet let's do top card there's no problem fire can't solve or i guess i'm playing sarkin let us fight i will call the dragons Now the the car siren has a lot to do here. Listen to them roar. I want to play black white mid range, but I don't know if I should play Soltai or Golgari. What would you recommend? And if you're saying black white, what would you say are its best cards? Um. All right, I can. Uh, if you look at my decks here, or let's see, I have this. Uh, this is the Soltai list that we're gonna play later on today that I like. And um, as far as black white goes, I can help you after this. This is just exile, and then you can play them. I'm not sure if I want to. I'm not sure if I actually want to minus seven Chandra, honestly. I want that thing in play. I take up. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. I love to make a splash. Five damage is a lot. We actually get to kill Roalesque. This is just gonna be bad for you. So basically, the Chandra's gonna kill them. If they attack Chandra, they take eight. If they don't attack Chandra, I get to minus seven next turn and deal them seven. Nutso Palace. Welcome to the channel. Hey, what's up, Hazy Lad? There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Let's light it up. I hadn't done the the Chandra Ultimate. I was hoping there was gonna be some kind of like really cool ability. Nobody had let me like resolve that, or like a, a really cool animation. Sorry, there wasn't really much of an animation there though. Hey, not much hazy lad. And then uh, Raoul also. Oh, I think I already said hazy lad, but what? Oh well. Hey, Raoul. All right, so we're playing against a blue-green uh, monster-style deck with big creatures. Um. So Vivian can kill. Rolesk or Hydroicrasis. I think we're, we're definitely getting rid of Return to Nature's and the Negate. So that's three cards. And I think I want the Melody. And then either the Chandra or the Vivian. Probably one of those. 
So maybe the Chandra. The Chandra actually looks really impressive there. We'll try that. Yeah, we're on team or mid-range at the moment. Uh, the two the two decks after our donation decks, we'll play those in the metagame challenge. We'll play Sultai and Grixis in it. And then tomorrow we're doing our sub battle stream. Where I'll be playing against subscribers all day. I think this is a mulligan. Yeah. We're, we need things to do before turn four. Alright, glad we mulliganed. I'll take the Paradise Druid. Hey, Wampus. Gaming today has been good so far. We've played one game. And we were victorious. And we are on game two. <laughs> oh no. That makes sense, they're a Vanifar deck. You wanna play with fire, huh? What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. This is your wife's favorite band here, the Decemberus? Man, they have a Carnage Tyrant already? Things big. Sit back and watch it burn. Turn four Carnage Tyrant, plus seven a six eight. Ugh. Yeah, that's a huge Vanifar. Oh no, you're not gonna make it tomorrow, Storm? Hey, Yaku. Uh, Jolner, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, we had real tough problems with it yesterday. You don't need me anymore. Right. Okay, well, that was a bad block. I forgot that didn't do to the creature. Um, oh, well. So I could have had a 5 5 and been at 12. But what are we doing with a 5 5? And being at 12 here. I guess we're double blocking the Carnage Tyrant. Okay, awesome. I, I think we had one with the... A link with all the basic land art. I think. I think I have one. I'm not sure. All right, so I think I'll, I'm, I'm pretty sure I want these lava coils. Let's get those things in there. Got to kill. Um, Got to kill Vanifar. So if I bring all those in, also. Take out Chandra, Kiora. Hmm. I'm going to take out two Triumphs, because they don't kill a Vanifar right away. Okay, cool. Thank you. Wampus, I've just saved that. That looks really good. 
I like it. Alright, good hand here. Love Melody in this matchup. You know, really glad we have a mana creature. Definitely need mana creatures in this matchup. This is a matchup where whoever's faster is going to work out for them. But we already have like a turn 2 Druid, turn 3 Ferox. I don't think we need the Llanowar Elf for turn 4. So I'll put that to the bottom. No, I haven't played any uh, mill or self mill decks. No, I haven't with this format now. Hey, good job. You went 3 1 in the metagame challenge? Very nice. Draw land. Let's get to Hellkite. Hooray! Um, I think we just do haste, honestly. Attack for 10. There we go. Pona had the slower hand, did not have, did not keep a hand with mana creatures. Definitely seemed like mana creatures were the most important thing there. What do you think about adding a Samet to the Abzan Citadel deck? I hadn't thought about that card. Um, I could see it though. Yeah, with the haste and... And... The scry option. I could see it. I guess it would have to go in for one of the Ajani's if we're like finding a room for it somewhere. Mono red. Well, I guess I'm not gonna have time for the Kiora. The plan was play Kiora, then play Ferox, and then go double Spellbreaker. But I don't think we're going to have time for that against red. Let's just play a 4-4 Spellbreaker here. Our opponent was playing a uh, Simic deck. Um, a Simic Vanifar deck. How I'd classify that. These decks right here. We're going to play Sultai and Grixis in the metagame challenge. I'm going to try those. Hey, Narinen. Good, good morning. Dun, dun, dun. This avatar is part of the bolus package in the store. Gutter snipe's a huge problem. Um. Hmm. Certainly considering playing the Spellbreaker with haste and attacking for 9. But it doesn't really help us try to finish out the game like the very next turn. And then I'm like in a, a pretty bad defensive position as well. Hey, we can kill that.
So it looks like they have a spell that is higher than two CMC on top. Or I guess it could be a land. I guess they I think they played a land from hand already. Uh the the Simic mid range deck. Oh, I was supposed to show, show somebody the Orzov deck. Do this. Um All right, so we're going to go attack, attack. Destroy that, play Paradise Druid. And try to finish this game out. Wow, perfect return to nature it was perfect. I have not tried Roalesque in the Simic deck now. All right, so if we get those in and get Domery's in. We can take out Kiora. Some of our mana creatures are pretty weak to Chain Whirler, but with them playing the Gutter Snipes, I don't think they're really playing Chain Whirler. So this is 61. Let's go. S Here, we don't need three Domries. Let's get rid of one of those. And give me a second to gate. Okay. Hey, Domestico. Uh, I don't, I haven't played like the metagame challenge yet, so I don't really like have like a best deck to grind that, but it would just be kind of like the best decks in the format, I would assume. Um, I'm playing Sultai and Grixis in it later. I'm still really high on Sultai, just like I, I thought, um, you know, I always thought like Sultai was the best deck class format and still really high on it. So we'll see how that goes. Steamkins. We don't have more removal. Ow. Yeah, you can you can play whatever you want instead of finale of eternity there. Uh, I I don't know how good good that card is. I want to try it out. I haven't played that card at all yet. You can play anything else, whatever whatever you want. Whatever card you're comfortable with. Yeah, I think the Dreadhorde control deck could be good for the challenge, absolutely. 
I'd be pretty comfortable playing that. All right, everyone, let's get this other lava coil in here. Need all the removal. Hey, Zoe. Oh yeah, Esper Control is just one of the very best decks in the format, so yeah, if, yeah, Esper Control would definitely be good. It's Yeah, it's really Yeah, Esper is really good. My no Liliana's I don't think you really need the six mana card. Basically. Gonna coil that thing? No. No, I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, Liliana is really strong. Liliana is very good. Um, but I, if there is a lot more mid range in the format, then uh, I'm more interested in putting that card in my sideboard. I'm going to play the Paradise Druid here so we can take another turn of playing a Shock Land in. Because, of course, I don't really want a Shock. So if I play the Domri, then next turn, if I'm like if I'm trying to play Sarkin next turn, um, if I play Domri, I have to use my Tap Land, and then I would have to Shock in for Sarkin. I would use the uh, this land over here. Yeah, all the monocolored aggro decks are all all very good uh, decks for farming. Ha, you call it anarchy? To me, they can only punish you if they All right, catch well, I'm getting <laughs> getting gutter snipe off of the battlefield, so that means I am not playing Sarkin this turn. We'll play Sarkin next turn. Um, I think, uh, is it Drake's is also like a, a cheap deck that you can, you can build for farming, uh, you know, with, cause the new card that's really good in it from the next, from the last set. I mean, there's a few, but you know, you wouldn't go Phoenix cause Phoenix is expensive, but you can play, um, Sahili, which isn't uncommon in like a Drake's deck. And, you know, you're really looking at like, basically the only rares you need are like the rare lands. I would choose Dreadhorde Control Domestico. No, we're doing donation decks right now. And you will feel the we'll play of my flames. Metagame challenge. After those Your were end those has two decks arrived. up at the top. Civic Nexus is one of the very top decks in the format. It's really good. Very, very good. A dragon would rather die than lose. We are the many. This game's looking good for us. Yeah, Kefnet is in the Dreadhorde control deck. We played it yesterday. And I had two Kefnets in there. Yeah, Dreadhorde control is a tier one option. Yeah. I'd be... Yeah, like we've you know we played it yesterday. You know, check out that list we played yesterday. I'd be I would be comfortable taking that that list to a tournament. 
No, Nexus is not banned in the metagame challenge. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. We did not draw well this game. Like, we set it up, like, pretty good, you know, like, with the Paradise Druid, Domri. Like, we had, like, those four spells. Did not draw well after that at all. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. You need to be Lava Coil. And we have all the Lava Coils in here. We... We didn't time that well. We needed <laughs> Chandra's Triumph earlier, now Lava Coil. Here. So option is kill the Lava Runner, and then we stay at three. Or take two, go to one, and kill the Steamkin. I think we kill this. Stay at three. There we go. Good draw, good draw. Decks are up here that we're playing. Another good draw. They got they got this turn to draw something. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, but that's that's something. And they're they're dead, but that was something. So we'll just activate the Hellkite enough. Okay, with two good top decks in a row, we got there. Yeah, Skargan Hellkite, doing its thing. Ooh, have fun, Matthew. That sounds great. Oh, cancel. Okay. So on Stream Decker, here's the Hydra list that somebody asked about earlier. And then the Orzhov midrange. Yeah. With the finales. I should put my mono black zombies up there too. This mono black zombies though, I'm not sure if I want this one. I I don't I can't I can't decide if I want duress in the main deck or drill bit in the main deck. I want one in the main and one in the side, and I just can't decide. I like go back and forth between them. I can't decide which one I want main and which one I want in the sideboard. I 
All right, so there's there's uh, the other decks that y'all were asking about on the stream deck are there. Um, yeah, we're going to play Soltai and Grixis in the metagame challenge. Uh, what kind of decks will dominate in the new metagame? Uh, right now, Esper Control and Simic Nexus look like the top two. I could, you know, like, I could certainly see a Phoenix deck getting there whenever people really start figuring out, like, the numbers to play and all the cards to play in, like, a Phoenix deck. I still think Sultai is really good. Still very high on that deck. Uh, Arclight Phoenix. It just has so many good cards. Yeah, the red finale is, is insane. I just don't even need to untap anything. I was going to, like, maybe shock in here and have negate available. But now they're just going to play these things. I shouldn't have... I should have just kept that at 7 loyalty. Or just attack with the Spellbreaker and then untap it. I guess they do have a lot more mana left. Or maybe I did need a shock in and have a gate up. Oh. Forgot about the steamkin mana. I need to shock in and have negate available. All this removal. Gotta kill those things. This is what we played last time. Don't love having all these shock lands again. That's okay. I like her hand though, so I would, you know, I uh, don't don't mind having all the shock lands if it means having a hand like this.
Yep. Three mana to fairy. Pretty devastating against a lot of people. Gross. Lava coil. Gross. Keeping our own Lava Coil because they could have Rekindling Phoenix. And definitely hoping we draw an untapped land here that doesn't pain us and we can play like a 4 4 Crisis next turn. That'd be really nice. The street urchins hit That's still fine. I'll take that. Having the Domery gain four life. When we're at, back you know, I ten. My words. You'll I see. will take that. We'll do it again. We'll triumph one of these firebrands. If you think I'm a crazed beast, where do you see my mates? They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> Yeah, new Dahmer is pretty sweet. Oh, look at you. I was like, alright, we're doing great. Any skirmish you can walk away from. They're out of right. cards, we're doing great. Never mind. Never mind, frenzy. That was a Perfect time to draw Frenzy when you have four lands and you're out of cards and draw a card for a turn and it's Experimental Frenzy. Not bad. I'm going to kill that thing so it makes Wizard's Lightning still cost a good amount of mana. Need to draw really well again. Let's draw Krasis's, Hellkites. So one and one against mono red. That's probably about as expected. Uh, we won two of the five games, but we got we got a match though. So worth it. Return to Nature still looks really weird in this main deck. Hopefully it's good. We we did beat a mono red person because they had frenzy and we drew our return to nature. Uh, the ones that I've played so far have been uh, the Dreadhorde control, Grixis control, Orzov midrange, basically Orzov Simic and Gruul midrange. I don't know what my opponent's card does. It's like first strike or something? Uh. Yeah, we played Mardu Aristocrats. I it 
it did okay the first time. We played it twice. It did okay the first time. The second time, it did really bad. Uh, we were talking, like, I think I need to, like, I didn't have, like, Hero Precinct 1 in it, and I was playing Priest of Forgotten Gods. I think I just need to turn it into, like, a Hero Precinct 1 Mardu deck. I just want to play defense. Like, so if I attack with Hydroid Crisis, we could put our opponent down to 18, yes. But then if they have a Conclave Tribunal and take the Hellkite, then we're taking four. Or a Luminous Bonds, or whatever. And I don't think that's... You know, like, we, we just need to stay alive. Like, we're going to do just fine if we stay alive. Is Nexus the best deck in the metagame right now? No, I don't think it's better than Esper Control. It's maybe number two. I'm still really high on Soul Tie. <laughs> oh, come on! though also I summon you I think we're going to be able to do some pretty good stuff here. I think our opponent's going to get blown out by this. Sarkin and Chandra's Triumph. Yeah, I think they're just going to attack. I'm going to Triumph their Valiant Knights. I will <laughs> watch this. I'll kill both of them. And then we'll destroy this Luminous Bonds. Still can't play the Niv Mizzet. Even with that card, Come so. To me. We'll just put it in tap. Yes, we're playing the metagame constructed. For the millionth time, we're going to be playing these two decks, Zoltai and Grixis. We're doing the donation decks first. So we got here first with Teamer, and then Bant after this. Ugh. No, it's okay. It's just, you're like over the 10th person that's asked by now in our three matches. But yeah, that's, that's the title. I have it in there. It's donation decks and then and then the metagame challenge. Ooh, that card's good. Don't need to play it though. We just have lethal Might in the air. Demands power. All right.
Question is, did you pick those two decks because you think they have the best chance or because they're fun, cool decks to play? Um, both. I picked Soltai because I think it has the best chance, and I picked Grixis because I think it's a fun, cool deck to play. Alright, so they're like white creature deck with stuff. So we're going to have these Lava Coils, Vivian Reed. Um, what do I got? 50 seconds? Okay. Yeah, I'd rather have Domri than Kiorix, like the fight ability. Don't want the negate. Um... Let's try this. So yeah, Trog, I, I think uh, instead of Kiora, I think that um, I just, I put an updated deck list in there today. I took out the Kioras also for Tamiyo, for Tamiyo. And I like I mean, kind of like in the Tamiyos of, like, being able to return uh, something from the graveyard. Like, if you need, like, another Jade Light to go with your Wild Growth Walker or whatever. Or you can just dig for Hydro Krasis. It does a great job of digging for Hydro Krasis. So many shock lands. So many shock lands. So I'm playing here, meaning, even though no they get to do three soul. damage to Chandra, just having the Chandra on the battlefield where then we can uh, have the triumph and start getting extra cards with it. Uh, it should help us stay alive as they're like attacking Chandra. Also, it should just buy us, buy us time, really, for me to build up uh, land drops and play a big crisis later on and like have these things help me win. Well, that was my plan. It didn't work out perfectly. Well, that was a disaster. Okay. Plan's coming back together. Sit back and watch it burn. gonna be bad for you that's all right we got our extra land this drop from chandra time. bought some time took out a couple of removal spells for our other creatures all in all exactly what we wanted chandra to do yeah and if you think of like tamio ticking up immediately tamio goes to like six loyalty with um, with the Hydro, which is, you know, one less than Kiora, but I think it just does a lot more for the deck. I 
I can activate ability still, right? Yes, I can. Well, land drop would have done. Land drop we would be able to double activate Hellkite and deal uh, three to Resplendent Angel, one to the Healer's Hawk, but that makes it easy as well. Yeah, we're just playing the intro deck here. I mean, I... That's what we got Paragon You know, we paid a thousand gold to enter the event, and they paid a thousand gold also. No friend of mine fights alone. See in yourself what I see in you. I don't know why I tapped all of my green mana. It's a weird auto-tap. Like, I have two mana here. I have Paradise Druid. So I guess I'm just tapping the land off now. I'm not in I hope you find or like in path. in this uh yeah in this in this uh same mode that I'm playing at mono blue I think would do pretty good uh, I see mono blue a, a decent amount um but there are also just kind of uh, there's a good amount of jankier decks that mono blue could uh prey on as well All right, we're three and one. Our deck's working out. It's working out just fine. We haven't had the toughest competition so far. Played mono red twice, split those. Uh, played a Simic. Um, Vanifar deck. And played that mono white one there. So let's see what we got here for round number five. Demir Guildgate. Definitely, definitely really like our hand, you know, having turn three Chandra. I'll do that all day. So this looks like a Grixis deck with a budget mana base. So likely counter spell. I do not want the Chandra getting countered. Let's just start with the Spellbreaker. Okay, maybe not counter spell. Yeah, 
This could be Gates. Certainly seen uh, uh, Grixis Green Gates before. But I think it's Grixis Control. All right, let's get Chandra in here. Let's do this. Let's light it up. They just used two spells that kill Planeswalkers with Bedevil and Angrass Rampage, so maybe that's the only two they had in their hand. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. So, playing this, we can kill the Ravager with the Triumph. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. And Null Hide doing its thing, coming into play for free. The dream. <laughs> Never want to see Null Hide when you're playing Grixis. So I cannot cast Chandra's Triumph with Nullhide on the battlefield unless I pay the two mana to get rid of Nullhide's ability. Which was why I did. Sit back and watch it burn. So why doesn't Nullhide Ferox see more play? Because I don't know, the spells are just so good and people are just worried about playing it with spells. Um so I've been worried about it, how many spells we have in this deck with it, but it's it's honestly been really good for us. Well, that's unfortunate. So I, I shocked into having a gate up so that if my opponent paid the two to be able to target Null Hide, we would be able to still negate as well. Oh, I should just I should just play the spellbreaker. Yeah, I'm silly. I should just play the spellbreaker. Oh well. So I didn't want to play Hellkite because I thought like Hellkite like was gonna turn on a removal spell. Um and we couldn't have like Hellkite Hellkite plus negate up. So I was like, I'll just play the, the null hide, because they don't they just don't have anything they can do anyway to do null hides, but Spellbreaker would have been fine. They just don't have anything to do to those null hides anyway. Like there's just there's nothing they're gonna be playing. So we're good. Yeah, I, yep. I really punted that one. We had no chance of losing, and our opponent conceded immediately afterwards. That was definitely a punt by me. Good call there, chat. <laughs> hey, what's up, Zephyrs? That one really cost us. Do I want Domri? Hmm. Definitely like Vivian and Chandra. And I like Lava Coil over Triumph. Do not want Return to Nature.
Um, yeah, punt is, yeah, like, making a big mistake that gives the game away to the opponent. You know, like, like in football, whenever you, like, punt the ball to them, like, basically if you, you know, let them be in the driver's seat kind of thing, you know, it's like, given, when you have the ball and you give it away because you punt it to the opponent. No, I would not recommend getting packs from M19 up. No, I would not recommend getting M19 packs. Um, I would recommend getting Guilds of Ravnica and up. Guilds of Ravnica and the following sets after that, Ravnica, Allegiance, and War of the Spark. Those sets are going to be legal and standard until the fall of 2020, where M19 is only legal for the next... You know, less than half a year of the next like five months until the fall of this year. Alright, they kept both cards with the discovery. They got nothing in the graveyard. Lucky. There's not much difference between 3 toughness and 4 toughness against the control deck and just getting the damage in is more valuable because it's most likely going to eat a removal spell whether it's like an Angrass Rampage, Bedevil, Lava Coil, anything like that, cast down. So I like just doing haste here. Hey Dragon Reborn, doing pretty good. Hope you are as well. Null hide into Sarkin is not a good curve. You know, we cannot cast Sarkin. We could cast the Hellkite. But then if the Hellkite hits us, then they get to... Trigger their thief and, you know, maybe find some... Big things to deal with Null hide or whatever. Let's just use this Lava Coil right now. The Lava Coil is going to cost 4 mana now. It'll cost more mana if we play the other Null hide Or get the other Null hide into play. All right, so now I'll play the Sarkin first before Null Hide. Plus, Sarkin has added value. Or sorry, Null Hide has added value in our hand. No, boot, I don't. You have to you have to ask before the stream. Cause I'm playing like these two decks in the metagame challenge that everybody's been asking about the metagame challenge and everything. I'm gonna play those two decks in it. And then I have the other two donation decks right now. Uh this it's looking pretty bad for us. So they have an answer here to the Hellkite. They just were sitting on another counter spell there, or removal spell. Uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of bad for us. Civic Nexus is really good. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's one of the best decks in the format. No, I'm not worried about getting stream sniped a lot. It happens. I can't really do anything about it. Or, you know, the things that I could do about it, I don't think are worth it. So, it just happens and not too big a deal. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. Hey, what's up, Angel? Thanks for keeping that sub going, Angel. You're amazing. Sub number four on the day. So I guess I need more things for Thief of Sandy. I guess the four lava coils aren't enough. We had one. We had one lava coil for the one Thief of Sandy. We didn't have any more lava coils for any other Thief of Sandys. Let's get like some Domries can fight. Let's get those in here. Um, it seems like we'd have enough for Thief of Sanity. There we go. With basically, I can, I'll fit I'll fit your deck in whenever you want, as long as it's just not like that same day. Uh, if you if you have a donation deck, if you know if you'd like to donate for a deck, just tell me a future day of like what day and then what time slot first second third or fourth you'd like me to play it and i'll play it then so there's no like i have a couple of decks that i need that to get to right now but there's not really a queue like i am very i'm very accommodating um as long as y'all let me know like what day and time to play it and if especially if that day and time is not that day So, you know, like, if you're like, all right, please play it, like, Wednesday 2nd. It's like, perfect, I'll do that. So. Hmm. Because so we do have two Chandras. Yeah, so here we're debating on what to throw into a counter spell. Chandra or Hellkite. I guess we go Chandra because we got two of those. I guess we could also just play nothing and just attack for four. Another option too. Cool, thanks Reborn. Yeah, the Orzhov deck in particular is so many rares and mythics. So many. Um, you have a tournament tomorrow that you really want to win. What do you like playing? Uh, Esper and Sultai are still very good. Uh, same with Simic Nexus. Some really good options. So that has the same power as Paradise Druid, but you know, Paradise Druid can actually cast other things, including this. 
Peace. Go, Hellkites, go. Oh, yeah, Esper is awesome. Yeah. Narset is not shutting down Esper. You can play around Narset pretty easily. I've never wanted to build around a, a deck around Simic Ascendancy. I don't I don't really envision building around Simic Ascendancy being very successful, honestly. All right, our team are mid-range donation deck doing well. We're four and one. We're on to the final boss. To be honest, I was pretty nervous about this deck doing well heading into the stream today. But uh, we've been drawn pretty well, and we have some really powerful cards at the top end, and they've been helping us get through these. We are four and one. Final boss time. I do not Zactor. I'm not. No, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Maybe somebody here in Twitch chat can help you out with something there. Nah, Makiora. I think this is Esper Control, I think. I mean, maybe it's not. Kind of feels like it is. Hey, Leyland. Uh, in green, black, or white, black? Ooh, it's Mardu. Yeah, I just put up my white, black you and I are gonna take them out. deck here. There you go. Or, there it is. Yeah, if you look there, there's um, the Orzhov mid midrange that I just put up there earlier today. I like a lot. There's an Abzan Citadel deck. We played that on, on stream yesterday. The Absent Citadel deck is awesome. If you want to check out that deck, that's on the YouTube channel it's too. If you want to see the so video much. for that, YouTube channel is there for you. To spark. No land drop though. Ah, Mardu, Hero of Precinct One. I'll let the land war elf die to deal five. We have a lot of ways to deal three damage in the deck. <clears throat> Somebody in chat probably knows that. When's the normal draft with gold for War of the Spark coming? Like, when's ranked War of the Spark draft coming? I think it was like two weeks after like the normal release last time, I believe. They're down to one. There we go. Let me find something. Find something eventually. All right. So they are Mardu, Hero... Kind of like hero control, like they have 
theater of horrors and some removal spells. Hmm. Don't think I necessarily care about theater fours. I'm not gonna have a removal spell in for that. Well, besides Vivian, I guess. This is not a very good matchup for Nullhide. Well, Nullhide just gets chump blocked really easily. Is, is I guess the correct phrasing that I wanted to say there. You think they're playing a bunch of discard in Mardu? I mean, they had Duress, but Duress can't hit. They could have... Can't hit Null Hide. They could have uh, Basilica Bell Haunt. That's about the only thing I can think of that they would have. Ooh, yeah, maybe I need more coils for Phoenix. I didn't think about Phoenix. Phoenix isn't really a hero card, but they could have Sarah for the scale, same same kind of thing. Brought in a couple coils, but I guess maybe we need to have our other ones too if they have like Sarah for the scales. Boom. Yeah, divest is like artifacts and creatures. Maybe they'll play a divest here and I get null hide ferox. But then I won't be able to play Chandra. Alright, staying, st staying away from that basic forest. I was like, oh, I'm going to play the forest here and not take damage. Fire? Never mind. <laughs> I know. We're done here. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Hey, Rev Daddy, it's going good. All right, Paradise Druid time. <laughs> Because Paradise Druid can have me cast Niv Mizzet next turn. So that's why I'm playing it. Yeah, Chandra's dialogue is a little rough. There are Kaya's Wrath deck? Hey, some known. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying the streams. Lots of sparks. All right, maybe I need to take this theater for a little more seriously than I did with the last sideboarding. Or just get a bunch of negates in here. Oh, they do have divest. That's crazy. We just drew the paradise druid off of that. That's a good card. Four, six. Yeah, whoever in chat said divest. They have divest, they called it. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a great top deck for us, Hydroid Crisis, that drew three very solid cards, including another Crisis. Shh. 
shocking in. They're just casting the Justice Strike, right? Yeah, like, what are they doing with that extra mana? Nothing? Hmm. We begin! Come to me! So, yeah, land drop will let them Kaiser at us. There is Rekindling Phoenix. Divest doesn't hit Planeswalkers, does it? No, it's Artifact or Creature. Yeah, there was, there was one from Kaladesh that hit Creatures or Planeswalkers. You're thinking of that one. I don't remember the name of it. No! No. Four, eight... Don't really want the Krasis discarded. You know, it's... I guess it's not super likely that they have... Kai's Wrath, they just have to have a, one land in their top two. But yeah, if they tap out for Kai's Wrath, Spellbreaker kills them. Nothing's going to happen to your card collection. You're going to just keep your collection whenever... Like, some cards will rotate out of standard, but there'll be other formats to play those cards in. There'll be there'll be another way to play those cards if like you're not going to just lose cards or anything. <laughs> Alright, here's the Wrath. And now we Spellbreaker. Oh, they gained two life. Dang it. I thought that was over. All right, never mind. Not over. I forgot that Kai's Wrath can actually do that, because four mana Wrath was not good enough. They needed to put more text on the card. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know how a four mana Wrath wasn't good enough. Got to put more text on there. Hopefully there's not another one. Make so many creatures. Right. Uh, well, if only one of these was a lava coil. I was thinking like we're gonna have to face the rekindling phoenix, and I was, you know, I was like, all right, well, we got both parts of the rekindling phoenix taken care of. Did not have both parts of, or all three parts of the seraph, covered. So, boot, you still gonna be here tonight? Yeah, shock, shock would've been nice. Okay. 
All right, what you got over there? I don't think that saves them. Like, do they have something else to kill this Llanowar Elf? <clears throat> so they're going to spark this. They'd have to have an untapped land plus something for this Elf. Death by Mana Dork. And that's it. We got our five wins. 2100 gold. Alright, so our deck actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> yeah, Legolas won it for us. We're going to get back to like the normal stream playlist here. Yeah, we had Legolas with the win there. Um, yeah, so I'll admit, I'll admit I was pretty nervous at the beginning of this, uh, you know, looking at the, the donation deck here. Feature, thank you for that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number five on the day, you are amazing. Um, yeah, I was, I was pretty nervous about our donation deck list here, but it actually worked out pretty well. Uh, Nullhide Ferox with the 13 spells, you know, I didn't know how that was going to really work out but it worked just fine. A lot of people that we played against really struggled with Nullhide Ferox for sure. It was just such a good card that um, even if we were paying two extra for some of our spells to help protect, help, either help protect it or back it up with like removal to help it get through, that it was definitely worth it. Um, we got to do a couple of things with Return to Nature here. It's not a card that you, that you see too much in the main deck, not one that I really expected to see. We got to do a little bit with it. Um, and yeah. It worked out pretty well. Kiora wasn't fantastic. Uh, I think I would rather have Domri than Kiora, I think. Hey, Punk Boy RD. Thanks for that resub also. Thanks, Punk Boy RD. Um, but there we go. That's, teamer that's our teamer mid-range donation deck. 